four types of paintings. Um, the first type is uh, what I call an imagination painting. And an imagination painting is uh, one you do strictly from your imagination. Um, one of the advantages of this type of painting is uh, you're not hung up, I guess, for uh, lack of a better way of saying it, on the idea of making the image look exactly like something else. You're, you're free to draw what you like, paint what you like, and you're doing this all from your imagination. So it gives you the opportunity to focus a little bit more on the idea of doing a sketch or the idea of experimenting with some different ways you might want to paint. So that, that's one of the reasons the imagination painting is a very uh, good exercise to do from time to time. Another good exercise is a second type of painting, and that's a memory painting. And a memory painting is um, a painting you do of a place just from your memory. How do you remember this place? What do you think it looks like without, without a photograph in front of you, without any reference material? Try to sketch and paint a particular place that you remember. Uh, it's a good exercise because most of the time you'll struggle with this quite a bit. You'll think you remember a lot about a place, even a place that's familiar, and find out that uh, you didn't really remember it as well as you thought you did. And it's a good exercise in um, observation, making good observations about a place, and it will help you later on when you go back and try to uh, do a painting from reference material or on location. And the third type of painting is a reference painting. And that type of painting is probably one of the most common types of painting. Um, it's done from a photograph or some other reference material. Maybe it might be a picture from a magazine or um, from a sketch that you did on location somewhere previously. But uh, for this type of painting, you're usually painting in the studio and you're referring to one or more images uh, such as photographs or sketches. And the last type of painting is a location painting. Now, location paintings are a lot of fun. For, for these you pack all your gear up and, and you head out to a place, you set your easel up or your equipment and paint right out in front of the scene, right outside. And it's, it's very enjoyable. Uh, you hear the sounds all around you, the, the the birds, the wind blowing through the trees, the people talking. Um, the first thing I'm sure that you might think of for location painting is uh, that people are going to come up and talk to you. They're going to come up and watch you paint. They, that does happen. They do that. But it shouldn't be a source of intimidation because it's been my experience after doing this for a number of years that uh, people just don't uh, really criticize you. As a matter of fact, the opposite thing is true. They, they really admire what you're doing. They won't necessarily, I guess, every time like your painting. Um, but, but I think they do appreciate what you're doing. They do admire the fact that you're out there doing that painting on location. So don't be afraid to try that type of painting. It's very enjoyable, very rewarding. Mm -hmm.